So to give you an idea of who you are, you are 10th, 11th, or even 12th grader taking my geometry class. And my class from the first few weeks of school, you know my class is a company already. You know that you work as consultants all the time. You're mathematical consultants to different people that will come. And so for the first two weeks, you got training on what it's like to be in a company. You know how to work a computer well now. You know how to work in a team setting. And you know who your teammates are that you'll work with for a period of time. And you know that you won't always work with that same team um, for the whole year. You sometimes will switch. But you're paired already with four people um, that you'll work with through different client projects. Um, some of you don't speak English well. Some of you are African American. Some of you are Hispanic descent. Some of you are of Asian descent. Some of you are Caucasian. Some of you are Native American. And you're, you're all in the classroom. You're very opinionated. <laughs> Um, so I have to be very careful about how I help direct you, because sometimes you may just shout out things that's not appropriate. <laughs> so I have to be careful with you as I as I coach you. Um, you're a typical teenager in, in any other realm, so I often connect with your lights to help you understand the math concepts. And you usually, most of you have a very low self-esteem in mathematics, and so I'm very aware of that. And, working to help you have a higher self-esteem by the time you're in the class. This particular time, you would have um, actually met some architects who is working on remodeling our school. And they came in our class and they talked to you about the process of maps and how the funding is happening and what state we're currently in as far as where we're about, we're about six months out from our school constantly being under construction. And so they're gonna ask you at the end, they really haven't had a lot of student input as far as what the new looks of the school should be. They've gotten a lot of work from the community, they've gotten a lot of work from the administrators, and they left you a little, like just three page packet to kind of show you some costs, to show you what some things people have said, but they really wanna know what you think and they really want to know what you think in terms of classroom design, lockers, and the library, which is all huge areas that you use the most. What do you would like the classroom to look like? What would you think the lockers should be? And how should the library look and be available? So they really want your input in that area. How many of you already are a little excited about the fact that you get to have some input on how the school looks? Yay. Cool, cool, cool. I don't cool. care what school looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. That is, is one in every bunch. <laughs> and that is so true. And I noticed I listened to you guys at lunch, and that's one of your big pet peeves is you don't really like the way the school looks, and, and quite frankly, you don't even like some of the people. So isn't this the greatest opportunity to change the way it looks before you graduate? Because it'll be done in a year. And now you get to write the ticket of what the school looks like and now be in a place you like. Now, how many of you feel like this is kind of huge, though, at the same time? This is a pretty big task for us to do. And so how in the world are we going to tackle it? OK? How many of you have a cell phone? Yeah, at this year. You, you would definitely not get a hand that's lowered um, in my classroom. Okay. And how many of you have changed your cell phone at one time or other? You have this one and then you move to another one? Okay. When we go to help our clients, their problems is a lot like the problems you encounter. Like a cell phone. Remember how when you got a new cell phone, there was things you had to learn about the phone that was different than your old phone. You had some new problems with it. But there are some things you already knew. Like you knew you wanted to make a phone call, you knew you wanted to text, you knew you wanted to send, there were some things you know. So that's how we always start with our clients. What do we know about the situation that we're going to help? So, so based upon what we heard from the architects and what I've just shared with you, what are some things we know about this? Mm -hmm. Decided. Yep. And you also know what your school looks like because you, you 
go in it all the time. So you know the car, you know what Adam wants. The question. You know that we're changing the classroom design, the lockers, and the library. Mm -hmm. Or at least our input. Mm -hmm. Okay, classroom, lockers, and library? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I talk to you like that. Yeah, that was perfect. Okay, what else? You know our school's too small. Oh. Too small. We don't have enough computers in our library. Do we know if they're really going to listen? Yeah, I need to know that. Yeah, do they even really care what we say? Are they Those just saying are this? good questions. And actually, that's something that we probably need to know. And just like with your cell phone, you knew that you wanted to make a phone call, but you didn't know how. So you kind of sometimes move from a no to need to know. So let's put that on a need to know. Are they going to listen? And when you say listen, who all is that? Those architects. Architects. Okay. We need to get dimensions of the different areas to see if, like, if we have like a design, how it's gonna fit. Like, it was okay. So you're saying we need to know dimensions? Yeah, dimensions or logistics for. I mean, yeah, we we need to know if we're like taking out lockers, putting new lockers in, or if we're just like. Good morning, bathroom. Now, again, as I said, this is not the end. This is the start. We always think about through the whole process what we know, what we need to know. And sometimes we were trying both. Maybe we thought we knew something that we didn't. Um, and maybe we need to know something that we really doesn't apply because we, we basically discovered as we ask questions that doesn't matter anymore. But in a business world, you kind of have to have a little bit of a help to get you going. So we're going to create something that you'll always create as we do more client problems, and it's a statement that kind of helps direct us. And so it goes like this. Okay, how can we, and we being you, what do you want to call yourself? You want to call yourself consultant or advisor? As Customers. Student, as student advisors. We're the customer, right? Customer. Well, we are a customer yeah. at the same time as we're being asked for our well, input. So you want to put slash student advisors and customers? Yeah, you guys might can. Maybe you can let the And then we follow this. Words. If we say how can when we talk about who we are, then we look at what do we have to, to do. So how can we, as student advisors, customers, do what? Find the best lockers. Design our new school. Yeah, a little broader. Design our new school. And lockers. And lockers. In such a way that the lockers are Well, they wouldn't know that yet. <laughs> okay, perfect. We need it to be a little broad. Design our new school. But now we're going to get into those specifics like lockers. So in such a way that we address Lockers. Yeah. What else we have to address? The library. Library. Computer lab. A computer lab. And the cafeteria and bathrooms. Cafeteria, we, we, we look at that. Classrooms. Classrooms. Classrooms.